Hello everyone. This is Adish. I'm a grade 10 student from Mumbai. So today's problem is expiring bread. The difficulty level of this problem is cakewalk because you only need to know the very basics of math and iterative and conditional statement in order to understand my solution. And because this is the first problem of the starters contest in division 4. So in this problem we are basically given a person who loves bread she has n loaves of bread all of which expire exactly after m days she can eat up to k loaves of bread in a day and we need to print yes if she can eat all the loaves of bread before the expire and no otherwise we need to do this for t independent test cases where in each test case we are given these three integers n the number of loaves of bread m the number of days and k the number of loaves which she can eat in one day now um, we can do this independently for each test case and the number of test cases are up to 1000 and n m k are up to 100 and the time limit is 0.5 seconds but ideally um, we can find an o of 1 solution for each test case because it's going to be a simple function of n m and k and we just need to print yes if the function is true so let's look at how we can go about solving this um, problem and figuring out when we will print yes and when we will print no so basically let's consider an example let's see that there are 100 loaves of bread and she eats one loaf of bread every day for 100 days then obviously 1 into 100 is 100 which is greater than or equal to the total number of loaves of bread that's why she can eat all the bread however if you consider the third example where she eats three loaves of bread every day for 6 days then that is 18 which is less than 19 so she will not be able to finish all the bread and in the second example if 5 into 2 is greater than the number of loaves of bread then yes she'll be able to eat all the nine breads and she'll require one more so basically we just need to check whether the product of m which is the number of days and k which is the number of loaves per day if that product is greater than or equal to n then we know that she'll eat all the bread before it expires so that's one possible way to look at the problem and in order to understand the actual code we can do something like if m into k is greater than or equal to n we will print yes otherwise we will print no and this is the simple uh, two line code and um, basically you can code this in python or c++ i'll show the code in a bit uh, and this is a simple approach however there is another approach which uses a function which is important in uh, later on in your journey in competitive programming uh, that function is a basic math function called the greatest integer function so another possible approach in this problem um, is to use the ceiling function or you could use the greatest integer function with casework either that or the ceiling function um, and basically um, in this problem we will use the ceiling function which computes the ceiling of a decimal uh, Uh, point number and basically the key idea is that if you find out the number of total loaves which is n and if you divide that by the number of uh, loaves per day if n over k seal ceiling value if that value is less than or equal to m then we know that she will be able to um, finish eating all the loaves of bread before they expire and this is because we know that she eats n loaves of bread or uh, she needs to eat n loaves of bread in total and she eats k per day this means that n over k should be less than or equal to n and uh, another possible way to look at this is that um n is less than or equal to m into k both of those um, values work both of those approaches work and now i'll just show you the code which implements uh, this approach because it does not um, use any um inbuilt methods and it's simpler to understand however this function is important for you to get familiar with uh, later on for harder problems so you should know how to do this as well and basically in the c++ code 
I will take in the value of t, which is the number of test cases. For each test case going from 1 to t, I'll take in the value of n, m, and k. If n is less than or equal to m into k, we will print yes. Otherwise, we'll print no with an endl. And we'll move on to the next test case. And similarly, in the Python code, for each test case in the range 0 to t plus 1, because Python computes from the range from the lower boundary up till 1 minus the or uh, up till the right boundary minus 1 or 1 less than the right boundary that's why you should use t plus 1 in the loop and you should take in the value of nmk using a loop where you split the input using the space delimiter and you convert each space separated integer into an int and if m into k is greater than or equal to n you will print yes otherwise you print no and you can verify both of these code gets accepted so i hope you like this problem and my solution if you have any doubts, do leave them in the comments down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you.